Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys had a really nice Christmas holiday. Today's video is actually going to look somewhat similar to last week's video, except I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit more of the exact animals that are available. We did ship a few boxes out last week. They reached their destinations in very good order. I was actually quite happy. The hubs are really cold, but I'm kind of like running out of time. So I didn't have the option to sit and wait for weeks for the weather to change. But anyway, we got her done. And next weekend is the Reptile Super Show. So we are going to have a table with the Southern California Herp Association. We have one table, I believe if it's in the same location as it normally is, as you enter the building, it should be on the left wall, about two thirds of the way down towards the back, if I remember correctly. But that's where we'll be. We won't have the full vendor booth set up like we normally do. I keep saying we, it's just me. I'm here by myself. So we're not booting on a full display. It's not the full DM exotics coming strong as we normally do, but we will have some very interesting animals there and probably some stuff that will be the only vendors in the whole building with those particular species. So I'm gonna give you guys a look at some of those exact animals, not everything that's gonna be on the table, but at least some of the more interesting ones in my opinion. We'll give you guys a look at those. I have sent photos out to a number of people. It seems with the holidays, a lot of people have gone completely quiet and I'm okay with that. This is the reptile business. This is the way it has always been. People ask you for lists, they ask you for pictures. You do all those things. A lot of people don't even acknowledge or say thank you, but I'm used to it. That's the way the reptile business typically can be. Not everybody, a lot of people are polite and courteous and they appreciate the work that we do for them. But as a lot of you guys know, it is a thankless job a lot of the time. But anyway, without further ado, let me show you guys some animals. So as of right now, I have three nice big male Patias carinata, and if they don't sell and they don't ship out, of course, by the show, these will be there. I think they will display okay. They're pretty mellow snakes. Sometimes they can be a little bit feisty and kind of like easy, easily riled up, but the three that I have here are really calm and cool, and I think they'll be okay in the displays. So this is one of them. This is male number two, and I will show you guys male number three and male number four next. So this is male number three, and he is deep in shed. I don't know if he will shed in time for the show. He might. His eyes are blue right now, but we still have about eight days to go, so maybe. So this is male number three. And this is male number four, and he should be shedding any minute. And probably the biggest of the three that I have available right now. He's a little bit more nervous with handling, but he's pretty chill. So that's it for the Patias Carinata. So I probably shouldn't even show this one because it's deep in shed, but it's the only one that I have. This is a white belly rubidus, Mexican indigo, and it is a female. So she's getting there. She's almost to size. Captive bred 2020, one that I produced, and she likes to give kisses for some reason. She's not like outwardly defensive, but as soon as her head will kind of rub onto your arm or whatever. She just kind of weird, kind of randomly will just give a little nip. So <laughs> it might be feeding response. I'm not sure because she's not like outwardly defensive, but anyway, awesome animal for breeding. And if you guys have males and you're looking for females, this is a really good option. I think she will be shed out, freshly shed for the show. So that is that. This is a male Vietnamese blue beauty, captive bred in Europe, and I raised this animal from a baby. I have a trio, and I wanted to show you the exact three animals that I will have. So this is one of the females. 
ready to breed. And I'm not going to be particularly disappointed if these animals don't sell because I am going to breed them this winter. I won't be here, but I'm going to have my worker and my family pair these animals and I'm sure they're going to lay eggs. So that is one of the females. So the female that I just showed, she has follicles right now. So I'm going to be thinking hard whether or not I want to sell her or not. And this is the other female. And I'm going to check her for follicles as well. So I've been feeding them really nice and heavy since they've been here. And that seems to have triggered some of the animals to cycle. I don't feel follicles in this one, but the other one I do. So that could be an interesting bonus for some of you guys. But this trio is quite nice. So they're ready to go, you guys. It's a good project. And as of right now, I have five mock vipers and I showed one of them in the last week's video. I'm not going to go through and show them all. I'm going to be actually sending pictures to two customers that requested them. But um, so there's five. They're all feeding. I was dragging my feet on sending the photos because I want to make sure all the animals are feeding. So all five have now fed. I have house geckos here so I've been doing the house gecko thing but they've all fed and I have house geckos that I can offer to whoever buys these that may need them or whatever so I've got quite a few I think I have about 40 house geckos or something like that so pretty interesting stuff and we have tentacle snakes you guys I showed one of these in the last week's video but we have 4.7 of these same story lots of people want them some people have gone silent on me. It's just normal. That's the way reptile business is a lot of the time, most of the time. But we'll have these at the expo. These are the normal phase. I have 4.7. And we also have the striped of the Erpaton tentacled snakes. We have 2.3. And Apple really wants me to hold on to these and keep them. But I will bring them to the show. So somebody's serious about it. They'll be there, they will be available. But another animal, I will not be heartbroken if they stay. We really, really like these. <laughs> so that's pretty much gonna do it for this week's video. I just wanted to show you some of the exact animals that we will have next weekend at the Reptile Super Show in Pomona, California. I will put a link to their information in the description box below. You can buy your tickets online. They have the show schedule, maps, how to get there, the whole thing. If you're local, come out and see us. And if you're not local, but yet you're still interested in some of the animals that you saw in this video, please reach out to me. My last day for shipping is January 10th. On the 11th, I fly back to Thailand. I get to see Apple again. And I have a lot of reptile business that I've been working on and lining up. So I need to get over there and see all that stuff through. Very excited to go back home. So... Tonight we're getting rain and I am going to pair that female blue beauty with follicles with the male. I'm not really looking to do that just so I can send a gravid snake off to a prospective buyer. But if those animals don't sell at the show and I end up bringing them back home, I want to make sure I didn't miss an opportunity to pair because the rain system, the barometer drops, and there's a lot of breeding and cycling that goes on around those uh, weather events. So I want to make sure I make that happen. I also have a Papuan water python female with follicles and a Papuan spotted python female with follicles. So all that stuff's going to get paired tonight, this afternoon, in fact, and hopefully we'll get some good results this uh, winter. I watch the weather constantly, even when I'm overseas, I'm checking the weather for here. And if I see like a rain system coming or whatever, I'm on the horn, I'm sending messages to my worker, sending messages to my family, pair these, pair these, pair that and all this stuff. So I really have always been a fan of the weather. So like I'm always paying attention and that's how I do my, my cycling. So that's pretty much going to do it from here, you guys. This is going to be the last video stateside from here in the snake room. Next weekend, we will give you guys a video at the expo. And after that, I'm out. So thank you so much for watching. See you next week. Take care, you guys.